Good evening. Each year, kids notice changes when they go back to school. This year, elementary students in the Erie City School District will notice a major change, metal detectors. Matt Mathias is in the studio with more from parents and a school principal tonight. Matt. Jen, the Erie School District says implementing metal detectors at elementary schools could be a game changer for keeping children safe from harm. It's a crazy world we're living in. Acts of violence have been more and more common in places you'd never expect, from churches to malls and even elementary schools. For the start of the 2023 academic school year, the Erie Public School District has installed metal detectors in each of its elementary schools, acting as a line of defense. They could be seen as families walked in to Joanna Connell's open house Wednesday night. Well, it's a changing world and we've seen in other cities in the U.S. things have happened, even at the elementary level. Uh, and and we always hope that nothing like that happens in Erie, but we're taking the steps to make sure our students are safe. 35 detectors were installed to all 10 elementary schools, costing the district roughly $625,000. Parents taking note of the metal detectors as they walked into the building and headed to check out their children's classrooms. The parent of one Joanna Connell student tells us that every time she walks through those doors, she feels much better about her safety. It definitely puts me at ease, honestly. You know, but these days you can never really be too sure. So having something like this implemented in the building is definitely a great idea. Uh, and honestly, I think it's just going to pay dividends in the, down the road in the long run. Other parents we spoke with off camera say they agree. They add it's necessary, but sad. Having to resort to metal detectors in a space meant to enrich children. Parents saying it's a move that will not only protect the kids, but teachers and all faculty in the building. I think this is the next best step to maintaining a safe building and keeping our kids safe in schools. Now students will be up bright and early Monday morning for their first day back to school and we wish them luck. Jen. Absolutely. All right, Matt Mathias in our studio. Thank you, Matt.